Welcome. Today we'll be talking about the number Google and the number Googleplex. A Google is 10 raised to the power of 100, which means if we wrote this out, we'd have 1 followed by 100 zeros. So a Google would be this number here shown below. Again, we have 1 followed by 100 zeros. The word was created by a nine-year-old named Milton Serrata, the nephew of the American mathematician Edward Kasner. Supposedly, Kasner asked his nephew to invent a word for a very large number given by 10 raised to the power of 100, and Milton came up with the word Google. The internet company Google, spelled differently, derived its name from the word Google. Because Google is such a large number, it's really hard to wrap our minds around how large this number is. For example, a Google is approximately equal to 70 factorial, or 70 factorial is equal to 70 times 69 times 68, all the way down to times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. In the binary numeral system, which is base 2, it would take 333 bits, or 333 digits, to represent a Google. So Google is approximately 2, raised to the power of 332.2, and one Google is exactly 2 raised to the power of 100 divided by log 2. For additional comparisons, a Google seconds would be approximately 3.17 times 10 raised to the power of 92 years. And notice how this is still so many years, it's really hard to understand how long this would really be. A Google millimeters would be approximately 6.21 times 10 raised to the power of 93 miles. A Google ounces would be approximately 3.125 times 10, raised to the power of 95 tons, where one ton would be equal to 2,000 pounds. A Google milliliters would be approximately 2.642 times 10, raised to the power of 96 gallons. And then finally, a Google milliliters could also be expressed as approximately 8.386 times 10, raised to the power of 94 barrels, where a fluid barrel is equal to 31.5 gallons. And finally, for one last example, if we wanted to model a Google using powers of 10 and blocks, if we let 10 to the 0, which equals 1, be this small block here, we can model powers of 10 using these blocks. And notice how they increase by a factor of 10 each time, where we finally get up to this large block here, which would be 10 to the 12th, which equals 1 trillion. And because we know a Google is equal to 10 to the 100th power, and we know a trillion is equal to 10 to the 12th, we could express a Google as 10 to the 12th times 10 raised to the power of 88 over 1 or 2, 10 raised to the power of 88 times 10 to the 12th, which means it would take 10 raised to the power of 88 blocks of this size to represent one Google. And then finally, a Googleplex is 10 raised to the power of Google, which would be 10 raised to the power of 10 raised to the power of 100, which would be 1 followed by a Google zeros, which means it would be 1 followed by, again, here's a Google, so we'd have this many zeros to the right of a 1, which obviously would be way too large to write out. I hope you found this interesting.